Hey everyone, welcome back. I am back today with more of that time I got reincarnated as a slime, you guys. Ah, the next one's called the Eve of Battle. So, I'm guessing we're ramping up to something big really fast, and we know that. We know that we're coming up on, like, in just a few days. Um, you guys did clarify for me, yes, the timing is going to work out so that the battle and, like, Walpurgis kind of happen at the same time. So, I don't know how that's going to work. Um, but it should be interesting. Last time we had a battle, and last time these parties were involved, it was not a good thing, you guys. So, as you can imagine, I'm a little bit hesitant about where this is all going. But, you know, we are super powered up now. I mean, at this point, someone actually brought this up in the comments. If Clayman is trying to be... If he's trying to become an, a true demon lord by making all these, like, the soul sacrifices, um, and Rimuru's already done that, is Rimuru more powerful than Clayman right now? So something to think about. You know, we're in a very different spot. I guess I shouldn't be worried, but I am still a little bit worried. Because, like, the trust was broken after the whole Shion Gopta thing. Like, for sure. <laughs> they showed me they're not afraid to go there. So, um... I will briefly get into what I thought of the last episode and any lingering thoughts that I have. But before I do that, I do just want to say if you're joining me early today, you know just what that means. It means you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so much. And as always, I'm sending you up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, still thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in that description down below. And if you are joining me on those YouTubes, I hope you'll hit like and subscribe for me. Thank you so much for that. So, um, yeah, we learned about the fingers and all that last time. Um, I'm sure we'll be getting to see more of them. Um, we've just been learning a little bit, like, I wouldn't even say learning. I feel like they're dropping breadcrumbs right now about, sorry, that made a big shadow. <laughs> My lights are not positioned in a way where like shadows are not created. So if I do this, it's just shadows everywhere. Anywho, um, I feel like they're just kind of dropping hints at the fact that um, Clayman's not like the big bad in this. Um, I don't know who is. At first I'll say, no, it's the president guy that, you know, he has a name and I can't remember it. Um, and you guys were like, mm, probably not. So I'm like, okay, well, that's just me jumping the gun. Um, so I don't really know, but I am getting the distinct feeling that, like, someone else is at the top of this plan. It's not, like, all Clayman. He's a big bad. He's not the big bad. Um, and I, I'm kind of thinking now maybe it's Yuki. Um... Or whatever is going on. You guys also clarified for me that there was a line where they were saying that Yuki was like kind of almost sort of possessed in a way or something. And I'm like, wait, so is it even Yuki right now? And you guys were like, yes, he, in the same line, they mentioned how like he almost was able to like not fight it off, but like control it somehow. So, so that definitely is him, but I'm just, it just does not seem like the same person that we met back in you know, whatever that was. That being said, you know, you wouldn't be a master manipulator orchestrating a bunch of crazy nonsense like this if you were just, like, out on the surface about everything. So, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's who he's been all along. Um, or maybe it's someone else completely. I honestly have no clue at this point. Um, but, yeah, guys, we're definitely, like, getting geared up. Um, I think we have kind of, like, a loose plan for what we're doing. Um... We got a lot of info thrown at us in the in the last few episodes, so I'm just very curious to see it all being applied to the situation. So without further ado, what do you say we go ahead and we jump right into the next episode of that time I got reincarnated as a slime. Let's do this. Oh my god, more food, you guys are killing me. <laughs> Meanwhile, they're just off having a good time discussing manga. That's, that's pretty brutal. Maybe. So maybe. That's pretty high, you guys. Yeah. Cool. 
cool. Right, that's the problem we ran into, right? Is that they couldn't get there in time. Just, just, just putting it out there. What are you saying? Are you saying... It kind of looks like Rimuru can go through. <laughs> Way ahead of you, Rimuru. <laughs> Thank you, Raphael. You're the best. However, he. <laughs> like in the last three seconds, you guys. And Diablo's just like, yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, you're taking a lot of credit here, Fred. <laughs> I think they would follow you into hell, so... Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Veldor! Veldor is killing me. Well... <laughs> that is a very direct approach. Whistle with so but crub maybe we could take some of the idea. Still a good idea. Okay. Uh But see she was there first. <laughs> I think she's being controlled. I don't think Milo would take orders from anyone. Unless it's Rimuru, giving her food. <laughs> she says that she's eating and reading manga. No. Believe in her, because there's more to this. <laughs> yes, I did good. <laughs> oh boy, we got another Gabidu situation over here. To be fair, we have a score to settle. Yeah, I was gonna say, I take Shion and Ranga. <laughs> Ranga! Oh. Yeah, what's gonna happen if we roll up with Veldora though? It is. We know that. Oh, there. Well, oh, you guys were getting along reading manga together. Yeah, since when? <laughs> He's like, um, I was in the middle of a really good manga at that time. I see we're riling up our crew, which is good. I don't know if that is a thing that would be possible, but I don't want to see it. Nice. That's cool. We've got a we've got him on speed dial. Quietly. So okay. Uh, that would actually be, cause they're like her posse now, and they're like, the 
devoted. Okay. Trainee is pretty powerful too. So in terms of like having a, a good crew. I did not even think of that, but that is true. Yeah, let's, let's one demon lord at a time, friend. Yeah, we're not going to stand for that. Uh, okay, we're very, very loyal to Milam. Got it, got it. So these are... So they're loyal to Milam. Oh! Oh no! Uh, oh, where is that? We're not helping. Oh, that's a lot of veins popping out of the head. That is so many veins. Oh, we're okay. That's where we are. That's not what she said a minute ago. Oh crap. Is that really how we're playing this? That we're cleaning up her mess? Oh, you are pushing this person. You have to think of that. Um. Oh, wow. Holy crap. Oh. He's trying, she was probably trying to save his life, wasn't he? Can we like reattach? Okay. Yeah, let's. Uh, and we're gonna, okay, we're gonna heal. Gotcha. Yeah, see? Yeah. See, he's mad at Clayman, but he lets it out in private. We're going to use the... Okay. Because if we can use that to transport one thing, we can use it for them. Sweet. No. Some of us need to rest. Yeah, he's powered up a lot. It's because he's a demon lord. Yeah. And also a demon lord. Nice. The Animal King's Brigade. Heck yeah. We got a pretty good looking army here. Heck yes. Nice. Green numbers. Gotcha. Orcs. Yeah, good old Gil. Yeah, got me do. Oh, okay. So we're 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 good. Nice. I like how each one has kind of like their own crew. Yeah, for sure. Now they can go in there and just clean up. Nice. Yeah. Rimuru is like, go get him. Yes, I believe in you. I believe in you all. Come back safely. This is going to be really cool, isn't it? Sweet. Wow. That is pretty cool. Thank you, Raphael, for coming up with us. That's, uh, that's great. Man, if we'd had something like that back when, well, we weren't Demon Lord yet, so we wouldn't have. But, like, transport between the school and everything. Yes. Come back safely. 
no one die, no one get hurt beyond the repair of a potion or anything that Rimuru can come up with. Um, all right, you guys, that was really, really good. Um, so again, we're just kind of like setting up all the pieces, but I feel like that's going to be really, really important the way that they're setting everything up so caref carefully. Um, so we already kind of know too that like there's a good chance that Clayman is not the He's perpetuating whatever's going on, but he's not at the top of what's going on. So um, I think it's good that we are kind of aware of that. Also, um, I love just like the little character stuff that we get to see. And um, sorry, <laughs> my hair is like not cooperating. I love that in coordinating this whole effort, we get to see little glimpses of like, character stuff like Trainee and Romarus or Diablo and Shion kind of like having their like <laughs> I'm the better secretary um I like how it used to be Shion and Shuna and now it's Shion and Diablo and that just like it just makes sense um but yeah so I think it's a good thing that we really carefully um, set that all up because I'm sure a lot of the placements and everything will be very important later on. Um, also, we got to see, so those were like Milam's subordinates. Is that, I know that, um, I know that they briefly showed us last time when they were talking about the fingers, they showed us the one with the mask and they kind of showed where they were at. Um, but I'm not remembering exactly like who all was there or what everyone's role was. So I'm guessing from the way that they were talking that those were like Milam's people and they seem very loyal to Milam and, um, Clayman is coming in and so the, the line like cleaning up her mess. So is he playing this off as like he's after he ordered her, like I'm per I'm 98% sure that he ordered her. If he didn't order her, he he's like, um, he's got something on her the way that he had on Muran. Um, but I don't know what, I mean, she's pretty powerful. So I'm thinking like straight up controlling. Um, but yeah, that one finger is, get, just gives no Fs, <laughs> like has no chill whatsoever. Um, but fortunately, they had magic and they could, like, heal up the arm. That's why, like, when you see an injury or even now, like, death on this show, you can always kind of, like, there's always, like, an asterisk next to it, which is good. But at the same time, it's just really jarring to see just how aggressive that one individual was. So I'm sure that was them telling us, like, be very afraid of these individuals. That being said, I think our crew has got this in the bag. At least that's how they're talking about it. Um... I really don't want them to get overconfident, but at this point in time, I do think there's some evidence for the fact that our forces and Reamer in general is stronger than Clayman. Maybe at this point in time, what we're supposed to be thinking about is who is really pulling the strings and could we stand up to them? So I'm sure we'll be dealing with that in the near future. Um, we're closing in pretty quickly on the end of the season, which as far as I know is all there is to the anime right now. Um, I know there's like a slice of life side series as well. Um, but it's kind of crazy to think that like, I'm going to be caught up. I don't know if there's a season three coming or if they kind of told the story they wanted to tell in two seasons or what. Um, but I'm very, I'm very curious to see where things are going. So I'm sure they're not going to leave us on, I'm sure there's going to be some big, big stuff going on before the end of, um, the season. So all right, guys, um, let's see what happens with this whole battle and with Walpurgis. And then you also have to consider, too, what if there's more to this plan? You know, we're kind of in two places at once. What if the battle wasn't the thing that was meant to trip us up? What if something's going to happen at Walpurgis? And that's why we have Eldora. So I'm just worrying for nothing. Um, but at the same time, they've given me reason now to worry after the stunt that they pulled with the whole killing bunch of people in the JTF thing. So, um, all right, guys, we're, we're locked and loaded. We're getting into this. I can't wait to see what's going to happen next. Um, I really enjoyed the episode. I think we're all like set and ready to go now. I hope you enjoyed watching along with me. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. And please, 
please be sure to join me next time. I know something big is coming. I know I'm going to need your help for it. So please, please, please join me then. We will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.